I'm Eamon Cottrell. I've been working with Cups Coffee Shops uh, down in Jackson, Mississippi for, uh, gosh, a long time now, since 02, 03 is when I started uh, started slinging coffee and have kind of progressed through every facet of that business. Uh, we, we just, we love people and we love coffee. And that's that's what the brand has been centered around. Been fortunate to grow it uh, a little bit and with y'all's help, have, have grown it a little bit more and, and hope to continue to do that in the future. So before uh, I was introduced to the Franchise Innovation Group, uh, CUPS was operating some corporate locations as well as some franchise locations. And, and we had been franchising uh, for a number of years. Uh, before I stepped into management, we had already sold um, half a dozen franchise uh, units and we were we were pretty well just keeping things going as they were for a long time so things were fine however we didn't have um, really a, a lot of things were needing to be updated uh, we didn't have great operating procedures some of that had become dated uh, we were getting a little bit behind on keeping things up to date with our, our whole franchise program. So uh, CUPS operates as a, uh, as I'm sure many small businesses do, it's, it's sort of like a little family. And we'd had our, our family unit there in Jackson for a long time and business worked well, but we were, we were sort of scratching our heads every time we would get an inquiry about franchising. And I was personally scratching my head because I'd gone into the position uh, and, and was sort of left to, <laughs> To figure it out as far as far as the franchising uh, side of things the the team that had put together our original program had left a few years before and and uh, so business was fine but I knew that we didn't really know how to proceed uh, and grow the franchising arm of that or, or get things into shape the reason I reached out to franchise innovation group was I looked through all our documentation for the franchising program. I had gone through the process of selling a franchise myself um, out of the area, uh, up in Oxford, Mississippi, and it went well, but it was also a, a case of, I knew there were a lot of pieces of the process that I was not doing as well as I, I would want to in the future. Um, so I actually found you guys as a result of, of scratching my own head and trying to figure out, well, how can this be improved for the future? And how can I, how can I wrap my head around all the things? How can I figure out all the things that I don't even know <laughs> I should know about franchising? Uh, so the, the, th the obstacles I had uh, when I was looking uh, ultimately to find the Franchise in Innovation Group was I, I just didn't know the full picture of, of what franchising looked like. Uh, I didn't know the, the scope that, that the franchise world was. I, I sort of put everything in terms of uh, the, the small family oriented business that we had grown um, and then another bucket of the McDonald's of the world. And I knew we weren't the McDonald's but I didn't know what was in between, which is what I needed. I needed to find a way to uh, to be able to grow our franchise, maybe one day as big as McDonald's, but but the, the step between that, between super small and super big, of just getting our feet under ourselves. So I, I chose you guys, uh, for a few different reasons. Um, the, the biggest one that I'll, I'll share the story of how I met you guys uh, second, but the biggest reason I ultimately chose Franchise Innovation Group was because like us as a small business and as a family oriented business, uh, I felt that same thing um, in, when, I, when I spoke with John and Lisa and, and it felt just like a good fit for us because you guys are uh, family run deal also. Uh, it was a very personable service I got. Uh, it always felt, uh, my interactions with the Franchise Innovation Group always felt like the, the interactions that we cultivate in our stores. You know, we're, 
we, we have this sense of community, everybody's welcome, um, uh, the, the doors are open and, and we're gonna treat everybody uh, equally. And it, it, just felt, it just felt right. I mean, I operate off a of feeling a lot of times and ultimately that was the final straw that it's like, okay, we need to hire somebody and we need to hire these guys. Uh, I, I came to, enter, uh, to be introduced to the Franchise Innovation Group through a, a string of different connections. I started looking at my local uh, Chamber of Commerce and talking to some business development people there. Got introduced to a large franchise um, selling organization that focuses primarily on selling uh, franchises who are in the position to grow. Uh, he recommended you guys highly uh, because we were we were at the stage before that where we didn't know what we even needed to grow. Um, and, and so when I came to you, uh, it, it was when I came to the Franchise Innovation Group, it was clear that, hey, these guys are going to get our program tidied up, organized for me uh, to be able to wrap my head around it so that we can then go out when we're ready to sell and, and expand the brand. So now that we've been working together and, and, and we started working with Franchise Innovation Group a couple years ago now, um, now that we've been in business together for a couple of years, we've, we've gone through uh, uh, several different consulting uh, aspects for CUPS. Uh, I really feel like I can say that I've wrapped my head around, uh, really brought my head around the aspects of my own business that I just didn't pay a lot of attention to. Um, beforehand. So we had systems set up, we had operations manuals produced way back in the beginning uh, that, that predated my management. And uh, I really had them out of sight, out of mind until we started our, our discovery process with the Franchise Innovation Group. We identified all the areas that, you know, really needed to be redone, to be honest. Uh, we, we developed with the Franchise Innovation Group operations manuals that are actually thorough and clear. Uh, we put our FDD, we reassembled it and updated it um, and, and got things uh, to where I can really be uh, confident in going out and to market when we're ready and presenting CUPS as a brand to expand. Uh, before the Franchise Innovation Group, I, you know, like I said before, I didn't know where to even begin. So uh, on the whole, it's, it's really increased our ability to, to, to be organized as a company and the franchise component of it to focus on what we know best, which is coffee and people and community, uh, while having the, the business side of franchising in our back pocket through the help of the Franchise Innovation Group. Yeah, three benefits of, of working with you guys has been just from the beginning a, a, an organization, a level of organization uh, that's evident from, from you, John, um, just in your business background and, and it carries out through the rest of the Franchise Innovation Group. Uh, I'm very much all over the place. And so it's, it's super helpful when I get consulting guidance that's clear, easy to digest, organized, you know, y'all have kept track of things uh, from the simplest meeting notes to the most complicated uh, development of processes and everything. So the, the organization that you guys display and then that's been imparted to CUPS as a result of us working with you has been, you know, really on point for me personally and, and for CUPS as a business. Um, kind, of, kind of part and parcel with that, the, just the clarity of, uh, you know, I don't know how many hours we've spent just clarifying uh, basic things in franchising all the way up to complex things. Uh, you know, why we have to produce all the, the, the documents that we have to produce and, and just crossing our T's and dotting our I's. Uh, it's been real clear the whole time as I've worked with the Franchise Innovation Group of, of why we're doing what we're doing and what purpose it's going to serve uh, in, in the bigger picture. Um, and, and I guess the, really all these things uh, tie together, but the, one of the other things I was thinking of is, is just the support that uh, John and Lisa, you guys have both shown 
cups as a as a client of yours, and I'm sure that that's uh, reflected in all of your clients. You know, the, just the the individual support that I got uh, from our on-site visits and then from our many meetings uh, in person or, or uh, virtually, uh, it's felt, it really has felt to me, and I've dealt with a lot of companies where it hasn't been the case, that you guys know our business as a result of the relationship that we've formed. And you, you've you got my back on these areas that you guys are professionals in and and uh, and I am not, and, and I'm grateful to have that help. Hmm. So favorite part of working with you guys, uh, and it, it speaks back to the, the business we're in, the service, hospitality, business of coffee, is the, the, the personal level, the personal touch that you guys gave to the, the CUPS franchising pro project. Um, you know, I, I've dealt with other uh, consultant groups before and it, you know when you can, you know when somebody is not really there with you and giving you the personal touch. And I, I never got that even once with you guys. Um, you're always dialed in to the, the project that you're working on, uh, whatever that may be along the, the, the journey that we had together. So the personal touch. Yeah, I definitely recommend that others would work with the Franchise Innovation Group, uh, especially if you've got a great business, you got your head deep into it and you know it and you know it well, and there's something that, um, you just know that it needs to grow and you don't know how. And that's where uh, CUPS was uh, for a number of years before I reached out to you guys. We, we've been poised to grow and we've got a great brand. Uh, we just didn't know how and didn't have the, the I guess, the wherewithal to, to go get some professional help in that regard. So I, I wish I'd done it sooner because it, it's, you know, we, we've got accountants to do accounting work and we got bookkeepers to do booking, you know, and we've got franchise groups to do franchising work, you know, unless you're a rare breed that knows how to do all this already, which I don't know biz, many small business owners that are. Um, I, I definitely recommend working with you guys if, if, if anyone's looking to grow their brand. Other things I would mention is that the, the Franchise Innovation Group, you know, it's in the title of y'all's organization. It's, it's primarily focused on franchise operations, um, but you guys have helped us also both with pregame consulting work on, on CUPS as a business and, and kind of where we, uh, what holes we were missing in our operations as well as our franchise program. Y'all have helped us with a big consulting project with our point of sale system here after we did our, our initial franchise development uh, with you guys. Um, so I, I really see the Franchise Innovation Group uh, for CUPS as, a, as an ally for a lot of different aspects of, of business. And, uh, and I, I've called on them uh, many times for help and guidance and uh, what's missing in our current operations and, and how to get the, the proper help for that. 